Hey guys, I'm LB. Let's check out Gigs Simplistic More Simplistic by Hazilius. It's a 2012 map, classed as very hard, so maybe it'll be easy to medium. I don't know. People have told me that uh, the workshop difficulty ratings have shifted over the years. So let's see, the description says, I tried out a map called Simplistic by Gigwava. Don't let the title fool you, the map requires a lot of thinking. I loved it, but there was a part that just wasn't fun because it required a lot of skill. So I made my, made my own version, and took that part out. Well, good on you for that. Let's see here. What are we in for today? That is a big lift to the exit. Hello. You put light strips all around this so that there couldn't be any signage. I have no idea what this button does. It appears to be... the death grill, the laser grid there. But, uh, yeah, don't- don't block the signage, please. Of course, this is a 2012 map, so you probably learned that by now. <laughs> I'm just saying it for the benefit of people who maybe have not started making maps yet. We have a reverse funnel there. What is that? Oh! Hadn't even considered that possibility. Oh, and that turns off the funnel too, huh? And this button respawns the cube in case we get trapped. Okay. Interesting. And this turns on a laser, apparently? Huh. Well, let's look around some more. What does that button do, I wonder? It's kinda out of the way, and I don't know what it does. Ah, it does that. Apparently the square signage could not render. That's a lot of things. Dot X and moon, huh? We have an open door policy, it looks like. Oh, you've got the separate fizzlers. Okay, I see. So, that just disables the fizzler. <laughs> That's what all this weird signage is, is that they- they didn't know how to extend fizzlers back then. I remember reading a comment about that on one of their other maps. Maybe it was this map I was reading the comment on. But yeah, the Fizzlers are... separate entities. Uh, what is that hole? Is that just decorative, or is there something actually there? I can't see any better from here, can I? No? Maybe- maybe if I could funnel myself there... Huh. Well. Let's go see where this funnel takes us, perhaps. Oh, there is a button here, huh? What does this do? Oh! That's a cube dropper, huh? I was like, where is that cube drop sound coming from? Huh. How are you supposed to get that? Because we can't use the funnel long enough. And this turns off the funnel if we take it off of here. Oh, we want- we're supposed to catch it. Okay, that's why it turns into an angled panel, because we're meant to catch it. Alright. Let's do that then. So, first step first, trap ourselves in here. There we go. And then, this seems kinda skill-based. Let's see here. Oh crap. Wow, that's- that's pretty fast, actually. I did not expect it to work that quickly. That's okay, we can get back up here easily enough. Don't even need the funnel for that. There we go. I think what they did was maybe they timed it just right with the height of that so that it would be easy to grab. Well, we have this cube here now. What does this do for us? Turns on the laser. Ah, okay. So then we can angle the laser cube in such a way so as to be beneficial to us. Let's go ahead and do that. Well, it pointed itself straight down for some reason. Looks like this is already lined up for us. Yep. 
And then, theoretically, this could turn off the Fizzler. Yes, indeed. Right. So then this part... We want to put a cube on here, and then take the cube off. I guess we could use the funnel for that, right? But we would also want to get... the cube, the regular cube in here, right? Maybe I just want to get the laser cube in here for a moment, in that case. Or I could do that. I suppose that works too. <laughs> right, so let's go pick up this cube. Which will turn off the laser, but that's okay. Maybe I even want to put the, ra uh, the laser cube here, or... Cause I think I want to get up there, or maybe do some juggling. Yeah, because we can easily get both cubes out here. Just like this. Come on. That lowers that, but then the issue is that we would want... We would want to... Pull this off, and I think we need to do that with the reverse funnel. Let's go put this back real quick. Come on, let me through the portal. If we do this, that gives us a. Oh. Oh! Is that intentional? Is that intentionally placed to block the laser? Not intentionally placed enough, I'd say. We might not be intended to do that, but I'll take it. If you really wanted to make that impossible, there's a whole bunch of better ways to do that. Right, so, let's get up here real quick. We are up here now. If I do this just right, I can have portals where I want them to be. Although I think I placed the wrong portals in terms of how I usually like my portals to be, but that's okay. I can deal with it. There's no portals up here, though. Hmm... Now the question is, how do we get the cubes where we want them to be? Rather... Actually, just a cube. Any cube will do. Yeah, because we can do that, but that's not too useful for us. Do I even need both cubes? I think I might not... Well, yeah, I do need both cubes, because... One of them has to activate the funnel, and the other one has to be on the button to get pulled off by the funnel. So I do need both cubes in that area.
I need to think about this again. Let's set this back up the way it was, approximately. Give me this. can't use portals to activate that, because this door lines up in just the right way to make that impossible. So if I were to suck a cube into here, it would get fizzled, and the only one I would be beneficial with... It wouldn't really make much sense to do it. I think- I think that is a fail state right there. Man, this feels like a Rectorox map. <laughs> Yeah, because the end goal is to want to be able to place a portal that'll get rid of that cube somehow. The only ways to respawn a cube is with the button there, or the button up there. And neither of them we'll have access to when we're over there. So we definitely need the funnel for this part. What happens if we do that? Not much, really. Not much at all. That's definitely not what we, not something we would want to do. I think I was closer before. Maybe this is a very hard map. Maybe I'm not giving 2012 enough credit. <laughs> or maybe I'm just not seeing something super obvious. Definitely need the laser to turn off... the portal fizzler. <laughs> that always looks so strange. Oh, duh! Of course. I made that much harder than it needed to be. <laughs> Right, okay, so. Here's what we need to do. Let's just place our portal somewhere. Doesn't matter too much. Yeah, here we go. This'll work. This will work. Give me that cube. Get out of here. I'd call that a little bit skill-based, but that's cool. I like that. So now, we just need to do this. Doesn't matter which cube's on which button, because we are pretty much done now. 
I like that, that's clever. I would definitely consider that easy medium. Yep, there we go. Open door policy it is. Alright, well guys, as always, thank you so much for watching, I really appreciate it, and I will see you all in another video. Goodbye!